uh, come up with point slope form. Um, I've said this in other videos. It's not it's not as useful. It's not as intuitive as slope intercept form. The y equals mx plus b is what we remember most and what we use the most in all honesty. Uh, but this is y minus y1 equals our slope times x minus x1. And I showed how to get to slope intercept form and we can still get all of our information this way. It's just not it's just not not really how we tend to think, I don't think. Okay, so point slope form from a graph. You don't really get it from a graph. What you do is you find your points. So there's that and that. And this would be, let's see, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Yep, these are tenths. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So this is 3 tenths or 0 0.3. And this is 1, 2, 3, also 3 tenths. Okay, so we have a point at 3 tenths and 3 tenths, or, what did I say, point, point 0.3, yeah. So, or point 0.3. Okay, so if we were to write that in point slope form, we would say, well, y minus point 0.3, or 3 tenths, equals m times point 0.3 minus x1. Oops, we know what x1 is. I'm sorry. I've been doing too many of these today, I think. Okay, m times x minus 0.3. Uh, which we're almost done. We do need to figure out the slope, though. So let's figure out, we are going from here to here. Here's another point. We could try and figure that point out, but that seems a little bit hard. Um, and while we can't count these squares as 1, we can at the same time, and that's because it's proportional, right? Um, so our scale in our x and our scale in our y is the same, and so our change in y, yes, is 0.2, and our change in x is 0.3, which is the same thing as 2 thirds. Uh, I hope everyone sees that. So really, we could just count the squares. 1, 2, 3, that's our denominator, and 1, 2, that's our numerator. Okay, so if we were to finish this out, then our point-slope equation, I'm going to put it in fraction form this time, equals 2 thirds, whatever our x value is, minus 3 tenths. Okay, so that's from a graph. From two, for 2, uh, we only have one point. And so we're not likely, we're not really going to get to the slope. If we could say something like, and let's just do that. Let's say the slope equals, I don't know, 5 eighths. Okay, so now we can actually write this out. Uh, y minus, our y value is 5, so y minus 5 equals our slope, which is 5 eighths, we decided. And x minus, and that's 5. Sorry, negative 3. Minus negative 3, so minus a negative, it becomes a positive. So 5 eighths x plus 3. Um, yeah, so again, generally, we would take this, put it in slope intercept form, because that would give us the information I need, we need. If they only give you one point and they give you the slope, then I guess this is easy enough to do. It just still doesn't really show you in a very good way what it's representing. Okay, last one. From a table, we can pick any point that we want. And so I'm going to pick, let's pick the second point. Let's pick this point, 0, 15. Why? So that we can just plug in a 0. So y minus 15 equals 5 eighths times x minus 0 which we can just leave that. Sorry, 5 eighths. That was from the last one. This will be my last video today because I'm starting to lose it. Uh, minus 15 equals whatever our slope is times 0. No, times x minus 0. And that's that. And then we need to find our slope. Well, we can find our slope by plugging in a point 
plugging in another point, or right, we can plug in 3 for y and negative 2 for x, and that will give us get us our slope. Or we can use our slope formula. So m equals y2. Uh-oh. Yep. My computer is also tired of doing this today. Let me see if this helps. It's helped before. Okay, let's try that. Y2 minus Y1 over, um, where were we? Oh yeah, X2 minus X1. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, just the, we'll use the for these four, uh, these two points. So 15, 3, 0, negative 2. So from here to here is a positive 2, and from here to here is 12. So that's an easy way to do it, right? 15 minus 3 is 12, so our slope is 12 over 2, which is 6. So our final answer would be y minus 15 equals 6 times x. y minus 15 equals 6x. And this one would be really easy to get into slope-intercept form. We just add 15 to both sides. And we are done. Hopefully that helps and you're getting a good idea on how to do these. I will be quizzing you and testing you on these, but it isn't the most. It, it's just slope-intercept form is more important. You'll use it more often, and it is more the way we think.